Oh, you got one on you. You got one on you. Right there Woo! it is. Got nice. It. Nice. Nice. Woo! Good job, Louisa. You gotta love the top water bite. <laughs> We flew from Tampa to Grand Cayman on Cayman Airways. The goal for this trip to Grand Cayman was to go to 60 Mile Bank and try to catch some tuna and dolphin. So as we pulled up to 60 Mile Bank, we started putting out the C&H lures to see if we could troll up a dolphin or a tuna before we got to the bank. To another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're out here about 60 miles off the coast of Grand Cayman, and I got something running. It's not running real hard. It might be a barracuda. And there it is on the surface. Is that a dolphin? Oh, look at that. We got a little do dolphin back there jumping. We're getting this dolphin a little bit closer. And again, we're out here with real addiction charters, Captain King Kong, and uh, it's a good way to start with a dolphin. One of my favorite fish to catch, especially when you're casting at them with poppers and stuff like that. They're just so acrobatic and they jump a lot. Sometimes when you have a bigger reel and you're keeping the boat in gear, it keeps the fish down some, but it also keeps them on the hook because when they're jumping, like they're doing right now, they'll sometimes throw that hook. Nice fish. All right, good job. Thanks, Nick. Good job, man. There it is. Nice size cow. Good way to start it off. I mean, we haven't been trolling for more than probably 10 minutes and uh, got this guy already. You see him anymore? There they are. They're on it. And he's got it. <laughs> he made him flip out of the water. Oh, did you see that? Oh my gosh. Talk about catching some air. Louisa, grab the other popper. He's got friends. <laughs> He's got a big one trying to hit this popper out of his mouth, Louisa. Woo. Oh, guys, look at that school of fish. Beautiful. Look at these things. <laughs> wow. He about jumped in the boat that time. That's good, just start working it in. They're gonna hit it right there. Boom, Woo! got it, good job. Doubled up. There he is. It's a little peanut, but he's a keeper. It's on the Ozuri Hydro Popper. Woo! They're a lot of fun. The dolphins started getting wise to the popper after seeing their buddies getting yanked out of the water, so I grabbed the real ridiculous jig and dropped that down, and I hooked one up right away on the jig. Here you come. There you go. Got him. Whoa! On the real ridiculous flat side jig. And that was the biggest one in the school. <laughs> I got a real tight drag on this rod, and I don't want to rip the fish, but I'm going to go ahead and attempt to lift him. And there he goes, right there. See if I can get my hand on him. I'm just staying clear while he beats himself up because I don't want him to beat me up. He can't do this all day, I promise you. Ah, that one is going absolutely ballistic, but that's what he has in his mouth. He's that ridiculous jig. He's hitting himself on both sides of his face with it. He does not want to slow down for me. When you pull a dolphin in the boat, they go absolutely crazy. They're jumping all over the place and shaking and slinging blood. Might be the easiest way to grab it is right by the jig. And there it is. That's what it just happened on. It's trying not to get beat with the jig. They weren't huge dolphin in that school, but they're decent ones. That was the biggest one in there. They quit hitting the popper, so I dropped that jig. And they went for it and it worked. All right, let's get that one in the cooler. After icing those dolphins, we started chunking for tuna, and we got a pretty nice hit. <laughs> well, I'm not doing anything anytime soon. All right. <laughs> so we got the rod out of the rod holder. We may have our first tuna on. 
not a real big one, I don't think. I was thinking it was a smaller tuna, but all of a sudden it started getting pretty strong. He's coming towards me, so that's good. What happens when these fish are coming up, like I'm gaining ground right now, his nose is facing up towards the surface. He's gonna keep doing circles up. Now I'm winning. As long as I keep that head up, I can keep gaining ground. If I slack off for a minute to catch my breath, he'll point his head down and he'll take everything back that I just worked for. And I got him right here below the boat now. He's not too far. We have 80 pound main line on, just a seven knot J hook and a chunk of black fin tuna. Whew, and it is hot. We got a 90 degree weather day today. It's only about five knot winds. Got some rollers out here, but it's not that windy. Got this fish real close now. This is not the kind of fish you want to catch if you're not in to putting your back into it. Chunking for tuna is pretty popular in the Cayman Islands and in most places that you fish for tuna. You just take whatever bait fish you end up catching, like blackfin tuna, bonita, barracuda, whatever it may be, chunk it up and just start throwing it in the water and throw the same size chunk on your hook that you're throwing in the water for chum and just let it all drift back together and sooner or later you're gonna get picked up by a pretty good sized tuna. All right, here he is. Woo, it's a good one. It's a lot bigger than I thought he was. It was very exciting to be hooked up to a really nice tuna that early in the day. Nice. Well done. Look at that. Nice. That's a fat, that is a thick tuna. Look at the yellow on these fins here. Just gorgeous. A real good look at them. And that's the tuna. <laughs> that's what I thought was little at first. And then it grew as we were reeling it in. Wow, beautiful fish. And you guys wonder why I come to the Cayman Islands a lot. This is one of those reasons right here. And again, come on in here, King Kong. Come in here and sit beside me. I'm gonna have you sit beside me because it don't make no sense for me to stand beside you. <laughs> guys a foot taller than everybody on the island. What's the name of your charter company again? Real Addiction 345. Real Addiction 345. His information is gonna appear on the screen there. You guys wanna catch tuna like this on a regular basis any time of year. Is there any time that they don't bite out here? All year long, you can catch elephant tuna like this. This beautiful, beautiful fish. A little winded, but man, it was worth it. It was worth the effort. Thanks, man. Lost a double up, but... We did. He had another big one on the front that pulled the hook, but I'm sure we're in a school of fat ones, so let's get everything situated and do it again. All right, we got another yellow fin on. This one's quite a bit smaller. Nick hooked it up. We were about to get that other one on ice, taking a few pictures. But we got him right here below the boat. Oh my goodness, that will taste good. And another one. Didn't even get this big one in the, in the, on the ice yet and already got another one in the boat. That one didn't take long. Almost immediately after catching those two tuna, Louisa hooked into something on her chunking rod. Looks like something took a bite of that dolphin. He gave up. Well, something did hit him. Yeah. The bill fell yeah. Marlin. Marlin hit See that? I saw it from, it. Yeah, I saw it from far away. I'm like, that doesn't look right. We hooked into quite a few small yellowfin tuna and blackfin tuna as well while we were chunking for the larger tuna. After seeing Louisa and the crew bring in some smaller blackfin tuna and yellowfin tuna on the chunking rod, I decided to grab my popper and cast it out there and see if I could get in on the action. Tuna get pretty dang aggressive on the top, man. It's awesome watching a tuna hit a top water lure. There it is, fish on, got him. <laughs> he hit it about one pop in. The tuna were loving those Yozuri poppers. It was almost too easy. Good fish, man. All right. I personally don't think there's any better bite than a topwater bite. 
I got one pop out of it and he hit. So I don't know if you guys seen that real well. I've barely seen the explosion as far as I cast that thing out there. A real pretty fish. Oh, nice hit right there. Yeah, it's a couple casts and a couple tuna in a row. This one's much smaller. This is more bait size. That last yellowfin was uh, definitely one that's gonna make it home for dinner. Another yellowfin. There he is. We're gonna add him straight there to the bait table. That's what we got him on again. That dolphin colored Yozuri Hydro Popper is pretty killer. Perfect. And there it is. It's a lot safer holding this lure than it is that fish. The lure is a little bloody, but check out these hooks on that. So one of the reasons I like these, even on the smaller poppers, they use these same big hooks that they use on larger lures, like grouper trolling lures, the bigger bull pops. I mean, that's one of these things about Yozuri that I love so much. Better components, that's what keeps these lures working fish after fish after fish. While I was hooking up some of those tunas on the popper, Louisa hooked up into a little bit bigger one on the chunk bait. Come on fish, show yourself. <laughs> All right, now we're getting a little color. It's all the way down there. Non-stop tuna action. All the way in, keep yeah, going. Yeah, just keep going and walk, all right. walking back here. Louisa got that tuna in perfect position, so I stuck him and pulled him in the boat. There you go. <laughs> nice fish, Louisa. Got him. It's gonna be bloody, guys. It's gonna be bloody. I hit the bloodline. I'm gonna try to get that tail under control. Well done, Louisa. Thank you. <laughs> you got some soy sauce for me? Oh, we're gonna have plenty of that <laughs> waiting for us at the dock. Yeah. Good fish. Awesome. Good fish. Super, super strong fish. They're all muscle, so they, are. they definitely make you work for it. Yes, they <laughs> do. Well done. A little look at what we have in the cooler so far. We have our bait in a single behind us. We have our dinner down there. You gotta love the Cayman Islands. Yes. Woo! Oh, you got one on you, you got one on you. Right there Woo! it is. Got nice. It. Nice. Nice, Woo! good job, Louisa. You gotta love the top water bite. <laughs> you see that thing come up behind it? Oh, and it just pulled it, it, it pulled off. it. It pulled the hook. Great hit though. Dang, that was Great fun. hit. I Get it back this. out there again. So much fun doing this. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> there he goes. Woo! We are in him. Louisa just had one hooked up here that pulled the hook. We are in him. The little yellow pentuna just kept coming in the boat, man. One after another. Louisa just had one hooked up here that pulled the hook. And I cast it in behind her. And got him. Oh, and there he goes. There he goes. Take that one. That's already tight. Gosh. All right. I'm gonna walk back here to the back to land him. This one hit the bull pop. Casting a little bit larger lure here. Oh, one hook in. We want to hit him with the gaff. There you go. Perfect. See the difference in these two lures here? This hydro popper has that lip that's kind of spread out, so it pushes water out to the side, it just kind of sprays water. This one, if you get a look at it there, it has that round lip. And that round lip is more of like a chug. It just, doosh, doosh. it's like chugging through the water. This one sprays a lot more water. This one's more of just a big chug, but I used this one this time because it's heavier. Those tuna were further out there, and I wanted to make a longer cast. And as you can tell, this fish is not a big fish but he handled that lure no problem. It was non-stop action. After that, Louisa ended up hooking into another one on the chunk bait. They're oh, there's a dolphin right here. Oh, you got a dolphin on. And then I hooked into one on the popper, but this time it was a dolphin. Oh, hit it, dang, right there. Ugh. Look at that thing. <laughs> Nice. Oh, and you got a big dolphin too, Louisa. Nice. You got a dolphin too? Yeah, oh, too check now. it out. Awesome. Nice double. Yeah. Yeah, you I don't know. You got a real nice one there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Good job. Nice double. Yeah. 
One on the popper and one on the chunk bait. They're coming in both ways. Surrounded by tuna and dolphin. And they were pretty nice sized schoolies. It was turning into a pretty amazing day out there fishing with Nick and King Kong. Louisa was chunking and I was throwing the popper. And while I was throwing that popper, I kept hooking into some pretty big skipjacks. Oh, got it on the second go around. <laughs> Cast back in there, there's more with them, I'm sure. The first one missed it. Man, all day long, bent rods, nonstop action. Oh, look at that, it's a skipjack. It's a big skippy. Now that right there is some marlin bait. And look at the purples and just the colors on that thing. Wow. Look how he hit that lure. Came in right from behind, swallowed it. Real, real pretty fish. The meat just doesn't compare to a black fin or a yellow fin, but they're a heck of a fighter too. Beautiful, man, look at that thing. Wow. This is a big one. Trying to save my energy. Because once this tuna sees the boat, it's gonna swim down again. We all know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the to the back of the boat. Nice! Woo! Beautiful it's a fish! Wow! Yes! What a fish, girl! All right. <laughs> Just out here living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> One fish at a time.